What's going on guys? It's Matt here from Games You Live. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to show you my 7th month review of the Fitbit 3. So, let's get started. So, I got the Fitbit 3 on Amazon on June the 5th, uh, 2020 for £109.97. So I'm just going to talk about my uh, my use over the last seven months, uh, what I got out of it, why I got it in the first place, and uh, you know pros and cons, who should get it, and my mark out of ten. So I work as a PT, so obviously I work with uh, with clients and tracking, and I track all myself and my progress. So I just thought that been you know using this maybe it'd be an easier way to you know track. Uh, track certain aspects of fitness and like when i first got it it was like a new gadget so i was all excited about it and i was like you know tracking everything and then over time slowly my use of it has kind of kind of diminished and i've just sort of been using it for the, the things that are actually um having an impact on on my fitness and actually benefiting me so First up, I'm just going to go through uh, some of the some of the pros, some of the good things about. It. First thing that's great about it, especially if you're a beginner, you don't know anything about fitness or anything about you know about your own body. Um, it's just like the ease of use, the tracking. It, um, you just you're just gonna you, you basically all you have to do is put it on, and there's just an array of different things that it's going to track. It's going to track your resting heart rate. It's going to track your step count for the day, even like your calorie count for the day, and things like sleep. Things that would be you know difficult to track. Also, it comes you, you know you get you get a like a dashboard uh, for all the different components. So if you like a visual learner, this is going to really help. I think with the gamers, it's going to be ideal. Um, and you, you know you can have it on your mobile as well with the app. Um, and it's just going to show it's just going to show the day to day breakdown of all the different things. So let's say for example you wanted to increase your step count, your activity for the day. It's just going to show you on a week to week basis like what what your activity is and also like um, the actual calories burn um, so this is gonna it's gonna kind of like calculate your your off your resting heart rate what your calories would be with, with. And like i say it's just, it's just very visual it's very easy to kind of understand uh, all the different aspects of your fitness um, with the actual product itself like the the gadget itself like it's really like light and uh, it's just comfortable. You don't even, you know, like with normal watches and, and some of the more clunkier ones, it's, you know, you're not going to really feel like you've, you've got it on. Um, also, it's uh, waterproof as well. So if you're into swimming, I'm not really into swimming that much myself, but like um, you, you'd be able to track your um, performance with the swimming. And just like the battery life, it, you know, it's going to last like a whole week, you know, for, for like a gadget with, with so many features. It's actually, you know, the battery life is really good. It's gonna, it's gonna last the entire week, and then you're just gonna pop it on charger. Last one, just like the accuracy, I'm pretty kind of like uh, nerdy when it comes to these, <laughs> like tracking this type of thing. I, I really want to know what's, what's going on, the details. And um, for the majority, it was pretty accurate. Like I was doing the same consistent thing each day, and I was seeing the same kind of results. So the accuracy of, um, of the readings you were getting, uh, I was getting was was pretty decent and like um in terms of tracking any of the things it you, you you're gonna get a good reading okay so some of the cons the cons really why i've sort of like you know the my use of this thing is, is kind of diminished over over the time uh the biggest one really is just kind of like it gets kind of boring tracking it it gets a bit like overkill and um, realistically i don't think it's something that anyone's going to do long term it's like a new gadget you kind of get it you get all excited and you start like looking at it counting your steps trying to beat records and things like that but then ultimately you know it's it's more like short term it's more going to be a short term thing to almost get get you uh, your consistency going you know improve, improve your fitness as, as a lifestyle rather than like actually wearing this all the time i mean the, the biggest problem is the fact that you've got to if you are actually going to be tracking things uh, like your steps and your, your calories for the day things like that like when are you burning certain things you've got to basically wear it all the time you've got to wear it when you sleep you've got to have this on all the time and i don't know i just don't want to be that guy who's sat in um you know in a, in a restaurant with me and i've got my fitbit on I Lastly, the biggest con really for me is just the price. I mean, it's £109 and effectively it's just £109 for something that's just going to tell you 
uh, you know, what your step count is and, and you, you know, your phone is going to tell you that. He's obviously got more, it's like, a, it's like a, an upgraded version of things that everybody's already kind of got. Um, it's not necessary. People have been ripped before the Fitbit. So, you know, for the price, the price is, is pretty, pretty high. I'm not saying it's not a great, great um, gadget and that, but like, okay, so I'm just going to go through my review and then I'm going to give it, you know, would I buy it again? And what is my score out of 10? So I would say this is something that's great for beginners who, uh, you know, they want to learn. They want to know what their their fitness is. The resting heart rate is going to give you a good indicator of your fitness. Um, it's going to be all in one place. It's going to, a, a lot a lot of it is a short term thing. It's not really realistic. It was in my opinion. Maybe someone maybe someone does. There are going to be if the 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 the, uh, the exceptions who are going to use this all the time. I'm not denying that, but like for most people, I don't think it's real really realistic. And I think a lot of the time it's probably going to. It's probably going to confuse a lot of people because they're going to be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do ten thousand steps a day. I'm gonna stay on top of that." But then my diet's still crap. You know, you're not gonna get the results you want. This isn't gonna get. This isn't really necessarily gonna get. This isn't gonna get you the results that you want. Again, the, there are a lot of features that I really like about it. I mean, I, I still use the clock on there, the timer. That's that's handy. And um, if I'm gonna do a run like a a a run and I want to time it and it shows it on the thing that's 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 really helpful as well it's also I could do it myself without the Fitbit so the biggest question is what about again and probably not I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't really feel like I would need this spending 110 pound on it um I don't think that I've really got 110 pound worth of value out of out of this there's been things that I spent less money on that have you know the, like a pull-up bar for example cost me 30 pound i got a lot more value out of that in terms of results um so i wouldn't buy it again in terms of in terms of itself i, I would give it like a, a seven out of ten mainly because it is a, it is great in terms of what it does i'm not faulting the uh i'm not faulting the fitbit in of itself i'm just faulting the fact that like it's not going to be the biggest thing in terms of getting impact for results for people if that makes sense that's my honest opinion um so seven out of ten not 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 like ten out of ten not the best thing i've ever bought so that's the video if you found it useful give it a like and subscribe to the channel also to get involved in a community full of gamers join my facebook group gamers who lift where we're all we're all we're all in there trying to level up our fitness there's a legendary body program if anyone's who's really serious about about getting ripped and getting uh getting lean muscle building confidence but until next time, train smart, game hard.